guys. So a while back, I got asked to contribute a recipe to uh, a book project that somebody was doing. And the, the specifications of this were that for this recipe, it needed to be a part of your culture. It also needed to be something where you had like fond, fond memories of it. And I was, I was thinking for a little bit of time because like for me, I, I watched my mom cook a lot, but I don't think that we, I don't think that cooking together was a big thing uh, for us, at least while we were growing up. Um, but this recipe in particular, we made all the time and that was chicken mushroom clay pot rice. And for a working mom, she could come back home, chop up everything together while the rice was cooking and then pour it on top and have literally everything done within like 20 minutes. She was the quickest cook. This was one of the recipes that I actually uh, asked her for personally when I wasn't vegan. I have remade that version for you guys. It is still so good. I do it with tofu puffs. So I'm so excited for you guys uh, to try my tofu mushroom uh, clay pot rice. So I hope you guys all enjoy this one. I'm gonna put in my rice. So just fill it with the proper amount of water. Okay. So we're gonna get this going while we prepare the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so kind of bring this up to a boil, lower it down, and then when it's about, I'd say like 75% done, we're gonna pour whatever ingredients we're going to be uh, making for this. Okay, so now we're gonna prepare the, the topping. It could not be any easier. Um, I have about five of these fried tofu puffs that I have boiled actually uh, two or three times just to get like some of the oil and the grease off of them. So about five of those and then these are um, shiitake mushrooms. So they were dried before and then I just rehydrated uh, them. That. And then with each of these, I generally cut them into um, probably thirds. I think it's just like a nicer size to bite into. So this is the, the filling. Now we're going to flavor it with soy sauce. Recipe is going to be all down below. A little bit of sugar, some salt, some garlic. This is some rice wine. I think traditionally rice wine was used to it was traditionally used to get rid of the gaminess in meat, but I think like nowadays I put it in there simply because there's a flavor element in there as well. Okay, so with the ginger, I put in about a teaspoon of like fresh ginger. You can peel it if you want. Um, usually when I was growing up, it was kept in strips. So I'm just gonna leave that in strips now. Um, I have a tablespoon of cornstarch. And so what that's going to do is that's going to mix with all of the flavoring and then also a little bit of water from the rice as well. And you're going to get a really nice uh, sauce from all of this. I can definitely see why this was a favorite of my mom's because she was, she was a working mom. She came back uh, home from the bank at around, I'd say like 4.30 and she wouldn't even sit down. She would get straight to cooking because I think um, if you sit down, as most working people know, you never want to get back up again. Okay, so this has been cooking for, oh, 
about eight, eight minutes or so, and you can see like here, um, there's still water to the rice, but it's getting to the bit where it's finishing off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my filling. get bits of rice that are just you know unflavored and that's good because you don't want it to be overly salty but you'll also get bits of rice that have you know some of that sauce on it that looks uh, so so good I mean you get a bigger bowl than this it definitely feeds a family in a flash and it is oh look at that sauce it's so delicious